So I have a bone to pick with you. You said you told me the humidity wouldn't be that bad today, but then I stepped outside this morning. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's, so it is. It's going to be split, Janelle. Okay. This morning it's a little. It is sticky outside. It is. But then as we head towards the afternoon, it will be better as winds begin to kick up, and that's going to help usher out the humidity and also this just mild and sticky air mass. It's also going to be better as we approach the weekend. But yes, it's humid out there. It's humid, and it was humid yesterday and that humidity has lingered into the start of our Friday. Storm Scan 3 picking up on a little bit of rain outside. We're not tracking anything severe. In fact, we're not even tracking any thunderstorms. We did have a few rumbles of thunder that were beginning to pop up outside of the Harrisburg region. As those cells began to move into our region, they did die out quickly. So it's just rain for now. We take a close look into South Jersey and we are seeing some scattered showers out there. Once again, falling lightly. Fog is not a problem this morning, so that that's good news. But if you're heading out, just plan for wet roads out there. Also plan for the humidity. Temperatures are sitting at 63 degrees here in Philadelphia. We're in the upper 50s in Trenton, right at 60. Allentown, 56 degrees. The current temperature up in the Poconos. If you're in Reading, light rain being detected there. Temperatures are sitting at 63. We are at a mild 60 in Melville. We're also quite mild in uh, the Jersey Shore. Wildwood sitting at 55 degrees. And we're not too far off out in Atlanta. Atlantic City. Now let's go ahead and talk winds because that's going to be the big story today outside of these very mild afternoon temperatures that we're also anticipating. Notice your forecast. 945 shows these winds will already be quite blustery and noticeable. By 315, we're talking wind gusts as high as 56 miles an hour, closer to the city around 50 miles an hour. That's going to continue to hold steady through the next several hours, even after that wind advisory is allowed to expire. These winds will still be quite blustery, especially at elevation and then again along the Jersey Shore. So it's something to keep in mind, folks. While we're not tracking widespread power outages, the threat is certainly there. The other big headline, temperatures sitting at 80 degrees, feeling more like early summer, right? 69, though, as we head towards Saturday. Saturday is going to be a better day as far as the humidity is concerned, less windy as well. Temperatures nearing 70. By Sunday, here we go again with rain returning to the region. Winds will be kicking back up again. And then we are trending cooler for the start of next week. Monday is cool and windy. It does look like we stay dry Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before rain chances increase for us by Wednesday night.